Hi everyone. So today we're taking a look at the Inatech KT9001. Do please like and subscribe on this video if you find it helpful. Okay, so this is the Inatech KT9001. It's a PCI Express wireless LAN card that also happens to feature three USB ports. Now, the idea here is to get away from having a separate USB dongle plugged into your PC and instead move the wireless to the inside of the machine. Now what this will do is it uses a spare PCI Express slot. Now essentially if your motherboard doesn't have a discrete graphics card in there like an Nvidia or AMD graphics card you could pop it into there or alternatively if you have a Crossfire or SLI uh, PCI Express slot spare you could put it into that one as well. Now it uses the PCI Express one part of the socket, the lowest of the standards as it were, and also the lowest bandwidth. Now, once you've actually placed the card into your PC, you attach the rabbit ears by simply screwing them on. You can then position the antennas to attempt to give you the best signal possible. Now, this is an 802.11ac wireless card. That means it's dual band, providing maximum bandwidth available. Now overall we found no problem with the actual hardware installation or the functionality it provides up to a point, but we did start to see a number of problems that would make this card difficult for certain types of users. For instance, because it seems to be using this PCI Express 1 slot, there just doesn't seem to be enough bandwidth there to provide a speedy round trip. And then what I mean by round trip is the time it takes for the card to initiate its signal, to send that information to the router, to then get information back, to process it, and then obviously relay that information to you. We found that there seems to be a stutter or a stall whenever you went to try and make a new connection. Now this isn't the case of when you connect to your Wi-Fi access point, this is when you actually try and talk to the internet or across your network. It seems to just pause and then suddenly you'll get the burst of data. Now where this really manifests itself as a problem is if you're trying to game. Because you need fast low ping times, you can't have a situation where the card is effectively going um da dum da dum da dum, oh now I'll go and get the data. It has to be fast, it has to be continuous data moving backwards and forwards. For gaming we found this to be utterly useless I'm afraid. Those round trips, the ping times, they were just too stodgy basically. Playing games where you require fast twitch controls, things like MOBAs and first person shooters just became a laggy laggy mess. Things are much better if you're just going to use this, this for browsing the web, although you will still see that kind of stally stuttery studginess going on. It's not particularly nice, but at least this is a card internal to your PC. And it does move you away from that external dongle. I think the main limiting factor here really is this PCI Express 1 slot. It just doesn't really provide the fast bandwidth that we kind of need if you're going to be gaming or moving a lot of data around really quickly and you need that responsiveness. The thing I do really like is it does have that USB 3 sockets on there, which are very useful. Although we found it was quite difficult to get a device that's high powered actually running off the socket. Again, I don't think there's a lot of power being delivered through this PCI Express 1 slot, unfortunately. If you happen to be using uh, something like an external hard drive, which also wasn't being powered separately from a wall socket, then again, it just wasn't working particularly well. Mice and keyboard, absolutely fine. And anything that can run under its own host power, i.e. stuff that is under the 5 volt limit, tends to be absolutely fine. Overall, it's an interesting product, but too many limiting factors, I'm afraid, that just make me feel it's not really ideal for a wide range of users. The number of people who are going to find this an acceptable product is probably going to be smaller than those that simply say, this doesn't solve my problems.